Here's an idea of Little Orphan Annie about 80 years ago. Little Orphan Annie has come to our house to stay, to wash the cups and saucers up and brush the crumbs away, and shoo the chickens off the porch and dust the hearth and sweep, and bake the fire and bake the bread and earn a bonnet and keep. And all us little children, when the supper things is done, we sits around the kitchen fire and has the mostest fun, a listening to the witch tales that Annie tells about. And the goblins will get you if you don't watch out. Once there was a little boy who wouldn't say his prayers, and when he went to bed at night, away upstairs, his mama heard him holler and his papa heard him bawl, and when they turned the covers down, he wasn't there at all. And they seeked him in the rafter room and cubby hole and press. They seeked him up the chimney flue and everywhere's a guess. But all they ever found was just his pants. And that's around. And the goblins will get you if you don't watch out. And one time a little girl who'd always laugh and grin and make fun of everyone, of all the folks and kin, and once, when there was company and old folks was there, she mocked him and she shocked him and she said she didn't care. And just as she turned on her heels to go and run and hide, there were two great big black things standing by her side. And they raced her through the ceiling for she knows what she's about. And the goblins will get you if you don't watch out. And little orphan Annie, when the blaze is blue, and the lamp wick splutters, and the wind goes, ooh, you better mind your parents and your teachers fond and dear, and cherish them that loves you and dry the orphan's tear, and help the poor and needy ones that clusters all about, for the goblins will get you if you don't watch out. <laughs>